Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you've been well. I'm here with Tuan and Tuan from Taco Tuans. They're on YouTube, running for tacos on Instagram still. So they have a Tacoma as well. They do a lot of Tacoma videos. And if you were curious like I was, both of their names are Tuan. So this is Tuan. This is Tuan, Tuan one, Tuan two. They're Tuans, Taco Tuans. That's where their name comes from. You may have seen them on YouTube because they do a lot of Tacoma mods, a lot of, you're doing some, you're gonna get into some Forerunners and some yep. Tundras and things like that. So if you're into Toyotas, check them out. Uh, they also live in Colorado. We've gone and done a trail, maybe two trails. I forget, we'll probably do some more in the future anyway. He's got a Tacoma with a prototype iCamper Mini X cover. And I have a Tacoma with a uh, iCamper SkyCamp Mini prototype. So you've seen this tent in a lot of my videos. You've probably seen this tent. Uh, have you done, you've done videos with it or just photos? We've done some trail videos, okay. but mainly on Instagram. Okay. So you may have seen the Mini X cover. I also have the full size X cover. So it gets a little confusing. Anyway, the advantage of these two minis, I'm actually just pointing here. The advantage of these two minis are they, sh they fit on short bed Tacomas or at other short bed vehicles without an overhang. Or you could put them on the roof of smaller vehicles and they just fit better. They sleep about two to three, two adults and a kid or two adults and a dog inside, or maybe three adults if you wanna get really comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, so they're a smaller tent and a little bit lighter. And the main thing is they're not out yet. So these are prototypes. They're coming out next year in, I think the Sky Camp is slated to be released. No pre-order or anything, just released for sale in March. And then the iCamper X Cover Mini or Mini X Cover, I'm not sure, is going to be released mid mid 2020 sometime. So the purpose of this video is really just to answer a bunch of questions that I get asked. Personally, I'm sure they get asked some questions. A lot of it is when's that tent gonna come out? But I get a lot of other questions like how big is it? Like what are the dimensions? Will it fit such and such? What's the inside look like? The inside of the X cover and the Sky Camp, if you've seen, well, well the minis, if you've seen the full size. So they make a full size version of the Sky Camp, which sleeps like four people. And then the X cover is the same as the full size X cover, just just shrunken down. So the interiors and the features are largely the same. They're just literally shrunk down versions of those tents. All right, so here we are. This is the Sky Camp Mini and the X cover Mini. I probably will not say Mini every time. So whenever I refer to the X cover Mini, I'll just say X cover. Sky Camp Mini will just be Sky Camp. Uh, though they do have full size versions of both of these out right now. So some differences, obviously this one is a hard shell, fully. This one is kind of a hybrid. It's like soft here, but hard on top. They are similar in size. You can kind of see how it lines up here to the back and the Sky Camp from here to the back. We'll do some measurements so we can give you some actual sizes. Though these are prototypes, they'll be largely almost the same as the actual production tents. So here we have this actually, I plasti it because it's chrome, but I left the red K and it opens on this side. So this tent, you could mount it backwards and open it on the other side, but by default in the way it's kind of meant to be oriented, it opens this way and we will open both of these tents and show you the insides in a second. The X cover is really designed for this part, this flap to be on the back where you can access it easy. And the X cover is also meant to fold out on the right or passenger side. Though again, you can mount either of these tents in the reverse orientation. Though this design obviously will kind of be the bigger hump would be in the front which isn't really designed to be that way because we have like a front little wind guard here. But for this application where it's kind of low on the bed of a truck, you could probably mount it in either direction, but don't quote me on that one. This one you can mount in either direction. It just means you need to get back up in here to undo that flappy thing. 
The mounting system is really nice. Is this bolt goes through here with a little Allen in the back and clamps, clamps to the bar. Uh, so it's a really quick, really secure mounting mechanism. I have four on there like that. Same clamps for this, but if you have something like the RCI bed rack, you can through bolt as well. The rails do run full length. You can put these little end cappies in. I didn't put mine in, so it's kind of uglier, but that's just because I slide this thing in and out a fair bit and I'm too lazy to put the caps back in. The Sky Camp has these little latches, two latches that you do need the key for. So if you forget your key and you go out camping, you're not <laughs> gonna be able to open this very easily or at all without making some cuts. So make sure you always have your key with you. Tuan was telling me about he went out without his key once and couldn't use the tent. So don't forget your key. The X cover, no key, so no worries there. Another feature about the X cover as well as the mini has this also, is you can have roof racks on the top. And this is very hard and durable. I've stood on mine, though I don't know if they would recommend it. But the racks do allow you to store stuff on the top. Obviously this whole thing is gonna flip over, which you'll see in a second. So depending on what you have on the racks, you might not be able to keep them on there, but you can at least transport them to your def destination. The Sky Camp has no racks on top and you cannot stand on top. The X cover, the ladder is inside, we'll show you in a second, but you do have to connect it every time you open it. The Sky Camp, the ladder is inside as well. And it's always connected. So you just, once this pops open, the ladder will be there. Uh, so setup on the Sky Camp is definitely quite a bit faster than the X cover. X cover, I'm guessing is a little under a hundred pounds. Sky Camp Mini, I think probably a little over a hundred pounds. All right, so now we'll measure from the front to the back. What do we got back there? 57 inches. 57 inches in length for the Sky Camp, and let's get the width. So the width is 55 inches. All right, let's get X cover width, 46 and a half, so a little bit more narrow. And then the length. We're at 57. 57, so both of them, same exact length, 57. And the X cover is gonna be a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter if you don't count the racks on top. So the Sky Camp, like I said earlier, you need the key. So the key, on this version anyway, you have to lock it to get the key out. Usually when I open this one, I just leave the key in and then I will pop it open. I'm gonna save pop it and go open for a second. But you basically remove these latches and then it's ready to pop open. On the X cover, I'll let Tuan come in here. This little flap will be bungeed under with these two little bungees on these little kind of washer ring kind of things. And then you lift this up to expose the zipper that kind of tucks up under here out of the way. So there's a the little zipper pull tab. This zipper runs the full perimeter of the tent. And that's how you open that. We heard from iCamper that they are working on a new zipper system. Don't quote us on that. I don't think it's necessarily a secret. Sorry, we have like 400 dogs barking in the background. It's kind of funny. They're working on a new zipper system that may or may not be on the production model. Some new fancy thing. But this is how it works for this. All right, so Tuan and I are gonna have a race. No, not really. The Sky Camp's definitely uh, the faster of the two setting up but we are gonna basically pop them up, get them unfolded, and all do a timer so you can get a rough idea. We're not gonna be going super fast, like running around trying to like break records. It's gonna be like a pretty casual, normal setup speed that you can expect. And we'll just do that just to make it kind of fair or even. Each of these, when they're open, and you'll see in a second, have like rain fly portions that you can stake out with with the poles. We're not gonna do that for the timer. We're just gonna do the main entry stakeout and that's it. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do any of the rain flaps on the sides just to kind of keep it efficient and and fair. So pop it up, 
open them up, stake out the main rain fly, get the ladder out to where it's basically in your usable state. Okay, we're starting the timer. Going. Kind of have a weird, uneven spot with my ladder over here. Oh, that's not even fair. <laughs> so this is basically the setup uh, on the Sky Camp. Really quick, really efficient. The X cover is still compared to uh, your traditional soft tail, soft shell, soft cover, soft cover tent is uh, pretty quick, but not as quick as this. Okay, of course my battery died anyways. Picking back up where we left off, Tuan, putting these guys in. Okay, good to go. So on both of these tents, there are windows and more rain flaps. I have mine over here. I usually just keep it open unless it is going to be raining. So we didn't include those in the setup just because, and then both of them have a main big entryway where the ladder is. The ladders are similar setups where you can basically set them into these little notches so you can get kind of like half height ladders so you can dial in a pretty perfect ladder height when you need to. Uh, it takes a little getting used to. You go from the top to the bottom, so your bottom will be fulls, and then these top ones will kind of be your crunched ones. And then one of the most underrated features of the iCamper is the ladders. So it's kind of hard to tell, but this is angled. So when it's straight, you're really climbing up this ladder on a sharp edge, but this, depending on your ladder angle, you're climbing up on a flat, a big flat surface, which is really nice. It also kind of helps you dial in the angle ladder because some people I see using ladders that are way too far out and some people are using ladders that are like almost up and down. You want about that angle. So people sometimes ask me why my tent is just a little bit off center. You see it in pictures on Instagram sometimes. And that's just because I have these max tracks on the side and needed to mount it with just enough clearance. So the Sky Camp opens up like this, a big hard shell side here. So when it's windy, if you can face this side to the wind, you'll have a much quieter sleeping experience versus the X cover is all nylon basically. So it's a little bit louder in the wind, uh, more things that can flap around than on the Sky Camp. The Sky Camp has these rails underneath with these little rings that you can kind of move around and you can attach like shoe bags or hang stuff from. So that's kind of a nice little feature. The X cover underneath is now the roof rack. So the roof rack that was on the top is now folded to the bottom. So you can see obviously if you had something tall on there, it would still be okay. It would just be hanging down in this area. So depending on what you put on the roof racks, you might need to take it off, but you might not need to. And then Tuan went ahead and set up the uh, rain flies on this side and then on this side. So when the X cover is all set up, you can actually take the rain fly off altogether if you want, but it has much more ventilation because now you have windows that you can open on all four sides. Whereas the Sky Camp, you can do it on two sides and then the front opening obviously, so three sides, but you can't open anything on the back here. All right, let's go inside real quick, the Sky Camp. So the Sky Camp will be a little darker overall because the windows aren't as big, there's no window there. And though it does have a skylight, it only has one. You'll see the X cover has two. But getting here is pretty nice. Um, nice high ceilings all around and we have like a quilted insulated top 
That's the hard side. And then the mattress on the Skycamp and the X cover is actually two pieces. So on the Skycamp, this portion of the tent is actually just a few inches wider than this. So typically you're gonna sleep with your head on that side and then your feet on this side. I also put this little memory foam mattress in here or mattress topper in here because I'm a side sleeper. This did have to be kind of cut to size basically. Um, I think it's basically a square so I can flip it the other way and it's about the same size. This does fit in here with this but with no bedding and no pillows and just barely. You gotta close it just right. So there's not a whole lot of extra room in here to close stuff, but I was able to cut this down, fit this in, and it does close with this inside of it. There's some little hooks and stuff to hang lanterns. I have a little like Luma Noodle, I think that's what it's called, LED light. I'll get inside and show you the Instagram picture view. So this is the Instagram pictures that you can hope to get. Hashtag rooftop tent living. One other thing to note when putting the sky camp away, I do have to lift this mattress, put it over on top of that mattress, fold that memory foam thing up just right in order to get this to close. You don't have to do all that with the X cover, which is nice. So let's go inside here. And we just realized the X cover mattress is thicker than my Sky Camp, but again, it's the prototype. I think I have a two inch, and this is maybe like a two and a half inch. So this is the inside of the X cover. You'll see we have double skylights. Got big old windows on each side, a huge window in the back. And then obviously this huge window in the front that I'm standing in, uh, it feels a little more spacious in here because we got these three bars really spreading out the top of the tent. Additionally, the mattress is the same width. So you could sleep head or toe, either way, doesn't really matter. And it does have a little more room than my Sky Camp. So a little more room for stuff over here. So I don't know. Overall, I think the X cover is probably a little, little bigger, though we should probably take some measurements. Maybe we'll take some measurements right now. You don't get your cool quilted map, but you do get some nice views. And just to keep it real, here's the Instagram view you can get out of here. What's up, Tuan? And Tuan? So that's that. All right, so inside of the X cover, this is gonna be a pretty long video, I think. We have, looks to be about 89 inches in length, about 53 or 54 inches wide. And then at the peak, the height looks to be about 43 inches tall. Let's take some measurements in the Sky Camp now. So the length is 82 inches roughly, so about seven inches shorter. And this has kind of the weird two width, two width part. The width is about 46 inches in the narrower part and about 52 inches in the wider part. And the peak peak is about 42 inches but there is like a slope to this. So I would say even though the peak of this is about the same as the peak of the X cover, the X cover feels like it has more headroom. Okay, we're gonna do a quick takedown for you. I'm letting Tuan take his little rain flies out since I didn't even put mine up to kinda make it more fair. And I didn't put away any of my mattress stuff and my memory foam topper. So it's gonna be like a pretty fair, even takedown test. Sorry, I could, I'm crouching here, but I realize I can stand up, actually. So putting away the Sky Camps, very easy. Putting away the X cover or anything with a zipper system is a little more pain in the butt. But I'm really curious to know about iCamper's new zipper system. Maybe it's gonna be revolutionary like everything else they make, so stoked on that. You ready to go? Yep, let's do it. All right, on your mark, get set, go. We're gonna pause and wipe our ladders real quick. There is like a little bag that it comes with that you can kind of put your ladder in, but I don't use it. Looks like Tuan might kind of use it. That might help with that, but eh.
I forgot to hit my stopwatch again, so I'll uh, try and figure that out after the fact. But we're done here. Juan is uh, packing it in. So you can obviously by now see some pros and cons of the two different systems, but we'll kind of have a little closing remarks here once we're all packed up. So the ladder you do have to fully disconnect and then kind of shove in the mattresses, but it does fit inside. The X cover is pretty tight. Uh, you could fit like a pretty slim sleeping bag in there. Probably no pillows. Uh, maybe a thin memory foam topper with nothing else. And once the zipper's on, you kind of tuck it back in this little section, um, so it attaches here, the zipper, and then you gotta run it along. So, zipper works a little easier when it's on this mid-height stuff. Everything about a rooftop tent, a rooftop tent is easier when it's on like a bed rack or something like this versus actually on the roof. But here we are, just about done. All right, we can call that done. Oh, then you just like bungee this little flap down to these little guys underneath. Beautiful. Looks wise, I don't know which I like better. The X cover is kind of like utilitarian to me, but then I also kind of like the Sky Camp, you know? I'm guessing it's more aerodynamic, obviously, but I don't know. I don't know. Let us know down in the comments which one you like the looks of better. Okay, ready to do some closing remarks? Okay, I hope that was helpful and answered most of the questions you guys had. It was probably a pretty long video, but you know how we do things here on Last Line of Defense. I think Tuan's a little more concise on his video, so if you're looking for some shorter <laughs> videos, I think his are usually, usually, they're usually shorter, yeah? Pretty, pretty short. Yeah, yeah, they're in like the, the more normal YouTube range. Mine are like full featured movies on, on stuff that you may or may not care about. Anyway, Sky Camp, X cover, we were kind of talking, chatting back and forth. Uh, Tuan, other Tuan has the Sky Camp Mini as well in gloss, but he hasn't used it a whole, whole lot. Um, but I've used the X cover original and you used, you've used the X cover Mini. And so there's some pros and cons. As you can see in that setup takedown, the Sky Camp is faster. The Sky Camp is more streamlined. The hard shell of the Sky Camp is less prone to making a lot of noise in the wind. So that's probably like, those are the main pros. It's, it's faster and it's a little quieter in the wind. I would say the X cover is probably better in most other regards. It's a little more spacious inside. It's a little lighter weight. It's technically a little lower profile unless you count the racks, but if you count the racks, then you get storage on top all of a sudden. So the X cover kind of, in a sense, has more features. It's a little roomier, but takes longer to set up. Oh, the mattress is a little thicker. Mattress, yep. So Tuan likes the X cover minis looks better than the Sky Camp. I don't know what I like better. I don't know. I'm curious to know like general, the general consensus. So take a vote down below on what you like better. But I would say, yeah, if, if you're trying to streamline your setup and takedown like I am, like I, I wanna shave off every minute for whatever reason, I really like the Sky Camp. But laying in that X cover mattress, it is a little more comfortable and probably my wussy self wouldn't need the memory foam topper in the X cover. And I don't need it in the Sky Camp, but I like it. So a little more room, I don't know. You can decide. Tuan chooses the X cover. I choose the Sky Camp, and I guess that's good because Tuan has the X cover and I have the Sky Camp. So Tuan 
just had a baby, congrats. Thanks. So the X cover is actually probably about the perfect size for two adults and, and a small one. Yep. The Sky Camp, it would be crowded. Just those few, those few extra inches in the X cover make it seem like quite a bit roomier. So if you're in a situation where you're like two adults and, and a small one, probably I would go for the X cover as well. But if you're just two people, Sky Camp, pretty good. Okay, I'm just rambling on at this point. Well, thanks Tuan for coming up to my house up in the mountains. This is quite a drive for you probably, yeah? It's too bad. Check out his channel. I'll put his links down below. Taco Tuan's, that's T-W-O-N-Z yep. on YouTube. And then Running for Tacos, R-U-N-N-I-N, -N -N, number four, T-A-C-O-S, on Instagram. So, check them out. Check me out, too. I'm on Instagram as well. Link's down below. Get subscribed if you aren't already. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that notification squad icon thingy. Do you have a sign-off line? We, we usually smack <laughs> You yeah. smack it? You like <laughs> knock it over? Yeah, pretty much. You knock it right over? We, we hit it hard enough to make a, a sound. Okay. Tuan says they smack the camera for their sign off, but I don't I actually just got a new lens and I don't even have a, <laughs> no, I don't have no a filter, no, filter no, no. on it. So we're not going to smack it. So we'll just do my sign off, which I think is until next time, guys. Take care.